Greetings, Alex Alien Nerd here, and today we are playing Doom. Except this time it is not just any old Doom, it is Doom on the PS1. I think that it would be way more interesting to show you this version of the game instead of the version that everyone knows. They didn't have the music for I don't know why they didn't they couldn't do the music for this, but this is one of those changes where in as iconic and as great as the music is for the original, I don't actually hate them axing it in favour of this. Doom relies on fast kinetic action more so than Halo, which I also played on this channel, check it out if you haven't seen it. Um, but it relies on fast kinetic action and I wanted a control style that actually suits that. And while it wouldn't be impossible to do it with the original control scheme, it would take a little time to get used to, and I don't really want that. Yeah, a shotgun, baby. But just be aware, this was also made in 9... This port was also 95 ish so there's no analog support either so you just have the d-pad and the um four buttons which i managed to narrow that down to three okay i wasn't aiming for the barrel but there's also mods that you could get to play a version of doom like this that basically accommodates for every single change they made for the port. But... Honestly, I just wanted to play like this because, well, I have at least two consoles that support PS1 and Packwoods compatibility, so why not use them? I also think that it's kind of, a fi kind of one of those feats that this game came out before I was born. I was born in... Uh, I was born even after this port came out in 95. Um, but... But it's still one of those things where I can just go back to it. And while there is some cracks of age, it still holds up and carries on just by gameplay alone. Oh, okay. Uh... Slight warning for anyone that never grew up with anything pre-Xbox 360 or PS3. And that is that some of them, like the PS2, PS1 and that, have games that are designed for older TVs. So if you can't see anything, I will try to turn the brightness up. But I can... I will try to, I guess... I'm literally shooting in the dark here. Oh. I keep forgetting this thing has... tank controls if I'm not hitting the strafing buttons. Well, bottom. I am wandering around these hallways for a reason, though. Beyond just the standard, it's doom, you kill everything. Um... And here it is, where... And here it is, you'll know it when you see it. Okay, I just guess this was a secret. Because 
it's slightly off from the others. I didn't know Doom Secrets were this, uh, were that um, precise in, yes, we are that deliberate. But I did try playing this version of Doom on Ultra Violence, and it's actually real, it's actually a lot harder than Doom original on Ultra Violence. Like, the control style, as I said, is slightly weirder. Like, this is the early day of first person shooters, but so. And it still works, like, it all functions. Okay, come on out. Oh. I'm. Just for reference, I played Doom, I like it, it's just that I'm not in love with it, in love with it, like most, like a lot of other gamers. I, I mean, like, I do think it's a fantastic game, and it, the name, and the fact that it's held up this well for a game this old is honestly, honestly marvellous, but, um, but, you know, don't just replay the same games over and over and over again. That's, like, I think I've played Doom to completion once, and this is a new port. Say hello to my boomstick! Primitive screw heads, listen up. Only 72%? I can go higher. Come on, I'm aiming for the... That's the problem with not being able to aim up and down. You want to aim for stuff that you can see, but you can't. I was trying to aim for the barrel. Ooh, rocket launcher. My well, weapon of choice is still going to be the shotgun. At least for the moment. I know what's coming. I'm going to say, this game is actually quite a bit more um, foreboding with this atmosphere on. It's just like one change goes from fun, heavy metal rock to foreboding screeches. <laughs>
I have to... I did. I wandered around there for nothing. Great content, he said. Great content. This is what's going to get subscribers rolling in. One of the things about retro games that I'm not really a fan of is... It is the key puzzle of you must get this key. Like, this is the first console port I've played with any significant difference to the original. That isn't purely cosmetic or performative. Okay, come on, get in there. Look, I know they're meant to sound like forces of hell or whatever, but they sound like... But they sound like perverts. Alright, just double checking. And of course, there's more dark areas. is exactly my problem and there is exactly my problem with the dark areas and of course much like regular doom it and much like regular doom it forces you back with only a pistol i know there's a password system that that can give me back everything i've lost but i am not doing that because that interrupts my process of doing these videos. Fuck off! Right. My cause is just, my will is strong, and my gun is... Uh, not as light as, it, as I'd like, but... Better than nothing. So I'm just... Gonna approach each step as carefully as possible, because... Um, that's... 23... That's 23 shots I have. I feel like just running around the map, just trying to trying to scavenge for some more bits. Like this music changes enough to be like, oh, fuck. But this, in addition to that, just... Not again! In the same place! Look at this! Not even alone the dark did this. And the game is literally called Alone in the Dark.
Oh, I went back out the way I came. And yes, my tactic really is just hope. that I hit something. Where the fuck are you? Okay. Is everything dead? Of course, there has to be two of you. Come on! Great. There are invisible enemies in an area so dark you can momentarily actually be in the dark. Why did I just select the easiest difficulty? Because... I didn't. I didn't pick the easiest difficulty for this. Hence probably why I'm not going to get to the end of E1M1 by the end of this video. Fuck off! to at least spawn me next to healing items, but is it too much to ask that I actually get 100% health and armor at the beginning of every level? Like, replenishing that? Like, if I got 1% health and armor, that means I only have one hit before I die. jump in this game, but you know what I mean. <sighs> you just shot me. Come on. I sound like a teacher when I was getting the for trying to look for the shotgun. It's like, like, who shot me? Come on. See me after class. Not again, not again. Not again. 
Right. I suppose I just suck at this version of Doom then. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you like this, please subscribe. I'll probably do a video of the original, uh, of the original Doom next, but um, yeah, as in the original original Doom, not this port. But um, yeah, I would say, despite me being negative with this mostly, to check this version out, like at least that mod. But aside from that, yeah. Please like it, share, and subscribe.